Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. I'm a little reluctant to head out of here because once we do, we're back into our last days in Inaba. And now tonight something interesting is going to happen, and it's pretty well timed since we wouldn't have been able to do anything tonight anyway, due to the dungeon. Yes, we get the option to help Nanako with her homework. Uh, catch-up lessons. We kind of had those, like, early in Persona 3, I think. Or maybe that was only in the one of the cutscenes that was unused in the game's data. Ah, uh, yeah, even at as young an age as her, students in Japan are always studying. And I think we have enough time to afford to do this, so let's do it. Let's not be heartless. Okay, yeah, that kind of thing. I was thinking about creative writing and stuff. I'm home. I remember um from like very, very very early school writing tasks like um learning about orientation, complication, and resolution. I had something like that, and it actually really annoyed me because we had to mm. tell a story about a dog and um the resolution had to be the dog has a bath and I was like oh come on that's boring I wanted to have the dog like abducted by aliens or something and I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that accurately But Dojima's gonna help with the homework this time, just like our friends did during summer. Hmm. Hmm. No, oh, <laughs> he humans at the same time. Yeah, this is actually a pretty common murder mystery trope. But I mean, that is kind of a disturbing example. Yeah. And you get closer to these two, but it's very, very late into the game to max their social links. It'd only really be helpful if you're very high in their uh, social links, but you know, given the sheer number of points they need to rank up, every little bit helps. But yeah, the best place to hide a leaf is in a forest reminds me of, I think it's a quote from one of the Poirots, saying that, um, when, that you notice a pin least when it's in a pin cushion, and when do you notice an individual murder least when it is in a series of connected murders. That's from a, um, a trope called um, Serial Killing's Specific Target. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. That's annoying. Because I I wanted to make a model today, and I can't do that because I don't have a model, and I couldn't get one last night, and I can't go out and get one because if I go out, it'll immediately skip to nighttime when I come home. That is unfortunate, but I still think I'll have enough time to make all the models. Okay, so I'm going to change my plans for what I'm going to do today. Maybe I should go to Cafe Chagall, actually. I'm pretty sure it's open on Sundays. Are you selling bead melons? No, but scapegoat eggplants are always nice to have. And I suppose since we're out anyway, I can go ahead and sell my materials at Daidara. Wouldn't have been able to do that if we were stuck at home. So yeah, we can make a whole bunch of new stuff from selling those things, and most of them are really not worth it. I've checked in advance, none of them have any special effects or anything. So as we go to Okina to buy some costumes, and uh, check out Cafe Chagall, I can kind of elaborate on that, so yes, um, that's from a trope called Serial Killing Specific Target, where Somebody, um, basically the killer has, um, someone they really want, uh, offed, but if they, if they just kill them, then they'd be the obvious suspect, so they actually kill a bunch of other people with tangentially related traits to that first person, and they hope the police will think it's by a crazy serial killer with no real motive, and, and thus will disregard all of the evidence pointing to them. 
it's it's generally pretty disturbing. The characters who pull it off tend to be really, really awful. But um, it's it's a fairly common uh, plot in a lot of those mysteries. So I'm going to be equipping Trumpeter, so that way we'll get the Debilitate skill card. That's the first one that I want to go for here. It'll cost 5,000 yen, but that's definitely worth it for the uh, skill card. Although I think it costs like something along the lines of 160,000 to buy back um, Debilitate from Marie. It's a pretty expensive skill card, but it makes sense. I'm pretty sure Unshaken Will and Salvation are almost as expensive. But I think an example of, um, I guess this is like technically a spoiler, but um, an example of that trope that's not over murders is uh, from a Sherlock Holmes story, I think like the Five Napoleons or something. Basically, somebody, like a worker at a factory making busts of Napoleon Bonaparte hid some jewels inside one of the porcelain busts, and they were all bought by different people, and a thief who's after the jewels um, goes and has just smashed all of the Napoleon busts because he has no idea which one it's actually inside. But to disguise it, he smashes, like, the entire room so that people hopefully won't realise it's just the Napoleon bust that he's looking for. I wonder if those watermelons fully restored your HP and SP. I don't know. You get comments from Moomon every time you uh, extract a skill card. It's still very annoying that this process uses up time in P4. That's why we haven't really had a chance to do it until now. Because in Persona Q, you can do that anytime you have access to the Velvet Room. It just consumes the Persona itself. Which is probably a better compromise, because it costs you more money to get it back out of the Compendium. Hmm. Well, don't just do all of them for her. Uh, now I'm remembering when I first learned Long Division. <laughs> it was actually kind of fun once you got the hang of it, but um, then we all got calculators and then really didn't need to do it. Sorry. I mean, it's nice that he's helping, but you've got to let them actually solve it. I mean, you could say what the answer is, and then try and say, okay, how did I get to that answer, or, you know, why do you think that's the answer, and maybe open up a conversation that way. I've never really taught before, so I'm not really an authority on this, but, yeah. Just a suggestion. Because then you get things involving, like, negative numbers, and, um, adding a negative number to something lowers that number. But yeah, we actually have our final, final, final exams coming up. And yep, they're going to cover everything from the whole year. Questions we've had all the way back at the start of the game. So hope your memory's good or you have a guide. The good news is that as second year students, we don't need to worry about college entrance exams. Because apparently in Japan, they're absolutely awful. And, like, your entire social status depends on whether you get into a college or not. That's something about Makoto's character in Persona 5 that a lot of people don't fully understand. Like, some people chalk it up to sexism as to why um, that college recommendation that's being hung over her head is so important, but it's not really even just a gender thing. Getting into a good college practically guarantees you security for life in Japan, so it's really important. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, this line here reminds me of a line from, like, a very early episode of Friends that is so hilarious these days, because they're describing what was at the time a top-of-the-line laptop, and it has RAM in the megabytes, and it's just so laughably bad by today's spec standards. Hmm. Well, we probably do these days, actually. I know we get terabyte hard drives now like it's nothing. Next one up from a terabyte. This one I'm actually not too familiar with, but it is a petabyte. <laughs> I 
I, I still think terabyte does sound really cool though. Don't think anyone anything else will sound cooler than that. Yep, last test we take here, unless we somehow transfer to Inaba uh, next year. Maybe we can see if we can do that. Could we apply to our parents to maybe <laughs> get us to actually have our uh, third high school year in Inaba? I mean, that'd be pretty great. Now, I know there is another costume that I don't have yet. It's like a, um, well, it's not exactly a Sherlock Holmes outfit. It's what people think that Sherlock Holmes outfits are from, um, for Naoto. And I forget if you get it through Croco Fur or through another method. I'm just going to go back and save because I'm pretty sure we need to get the Black Frost doll today. Yeah, of course I remember Spacey Girl. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I forgot he said that. You know, maybe you should uh, go over there and see her sometime. Oh, there we go, okay. Only needed one reset for that. That's That's pretty cool. Now, do I go for a skill card today, or do I fish again? I would kind of like Unshaken Will to, so I'm going to go for another skill card, I guess. Is there anything else that I can do? Yeah, let's go for the skill card now. Can't get a new model until... <laughs> this isn't the skill card place! I can't get a new model until nighttime. But yeah, the Errand Boy thing just made me think about how... Ugh, <sighs> yeah... It is always a surreal feeling being, um, the age that I am when, like, um, you see young kids on the street and they call you, like, an adult or, like, man. It's just, it's just sort of surreal. So you can only extract a skill card from a Persona once, I've probably already explained this, but once you register the skill card with Marie, or in this case Margaret, you can buy it back at any time. <laughs> what was I talking about? But today we should be done with Nanako's homework, so let's resume our scooter building. So, those advancement exams, that is your time limit for free time for the entire game. Once those exams start, you cannot hang out with any social links anymore, you can't do anything in Inaba anymore, that is it. The game is fast-tracked towards the end game. So, you really only get five days of February, it's kind of sad. Wow, that reminds me of when I actually picked up the uh, original Wii version of Xenoblade Chronicles. I had to go out to a really far away game store to get that. It was always fun doing that. You know, looking up uh, places online, looking up which stores had the game, and then going all the way back to, um, don't worry, we will play with the cat at some point, and then going uh, all the way to get the game. I don't know, I always kind of enjoyed that. I went to a pretty far out place to get Star Fox Assault back in the day as well. Oh, also Home Shopping Channel. I think this time it's just a gem. Oh, Wizard's Mark. Okay, that is like a re... Not regenerate, uh, invigorate. It basically um, restores your MP every turn. Masuda Stone. With one Kyor Stone. Okay, so that requ the Kyor Stone requires you to trade a Sea Guardian. And considering that it doesn't rain at this point, it's basically the only chance you had to get another Kyor Stone if you really want one. Oh, speaking of which, we are quickly running out of chances to use Shiroku Pub at night as well. So if you want to trade gems for things there, I think I'll wait for a few more days just to see whether I really need the yen. But if you want to trade for weapons there, make sure you do it as soon as possible. This is, like, pretty much the theme of this point in the game is last chance to do this, last chance to do that. Yep, basically last chance to do everything. Okay, we'll need one more day for that. I think that's the fourth scooter? 
Thankfully, January has 31 days, and I know that because of the kind of poem, is it? 30 days has September, April, June, and November. There are so many different variants of that song. Some of them say February alone, and some of them say February dear. Hmm, I could get Growth 3 as a skill card if I wanted, or Mega Dollar on as a skill card. Growth 3 is a great one to have access to on hand for New Game Plus, but thing is, I doubt I'll actually be playing New Game Plus with this file. I've already recorded uh, most of the things I want to do from New Game Plus. I think this time I will, and I've saved this time so I hopefully won't screw up on getting a joke weapon, I want to show at least one joke weapon. Some of them are actually really good. The one for Chie is one of her strongest weapons, I think. Did I? I'm pretty sure I already got the bus stop sign. Because I think you always get that first. And yeah, you should always just use the lowest level bait for this, because it's always the first one of the day. And I still don't know how these can actually fight back against your line. Okay, that should be one. <laughs> yes, a paper pinwheel may be useful as a weapon. That's a joke weapon for Yosuke, by the way. And, well, uh, yeah, I guess we can just try and get a whole bunch of tuna. You're back. Okay, got a whole lot of fish there, and I want to see what I can get from Shiroku Pub. Oh, so here's the pinwheel. Poison high odds. I don't want to know where that pinwheel has been. Alternatively, um, <laughs> whatever council is in charge of Shirichi Beach really needs to focus on cleaning the sea more. The name I'm thinking of going for here is this Crab Claw for Teddy. Silence high odds is pretty good. You know, I kind of want that Wizard's Mark. I should have enough money left for one more costume if it becomes available. And let's finish off this red scooter then. I think from now on I'll just be fast forwarding these, but red scooter! That's another one down. And that Sunday the 5th is gonna be our last day. Yo! So yes, our holidays after the exams are going to be spent on a ski trip, and that's why we're basically going to lose our um, free time from that point on. <laughs> yeah, it'd suck to cancel the ski trip twice. But meanwhile, more lessons. I think it's kind of the time for sighing right now. Um, okay. Pyramids are kind of the opposite of snow. But yes, what color were the pyramids originally? Well, it makes sense for them to have originally been white. I think that was very similar to what happened to the Roman Colosseum. There was sort of a, yeah, like a white cladding on it, but people looted that. Yeah, a lot of those buildings were made with pretty expensive materials, and um, yeah, people quickly looted those, so a lot of famous buildings are and ruins are actually nothing even vaguely resembling what those places looked like originally. Also, all of those famous Greek statues all of them were originally painted. Just just the paint wore off over history. There it is, I knew it! So yeah, I had a feeling it was starting February. So yes, the Deer Soccer hat that Sherlock Holmes never actually wore. 
Uh, I don't know how that caught on, but I'm glad that newer adaptations either don't use it or only use it to make fun of it. Okay, I'm glad I have enough money. Yeah, this is now auto exclusive. But yeah, with that, I should have actually purchased all of these. Just let me quickly check. So at this point, I should have every costume minus the one costume that is exclusive to Romancing Naoto. But I do have footage from that for a new game plus. Oh, okay, we got Yuki Girls one next. I thought we'd get Chie's. I was kind of going for Chie's. Because, like I said, it's actually very, very strong and also kind of, um, kind of uh, insane. Also, that actually doesn't cost, um, a diligence point. Huh. That looks like a guardian. Oh, maybe you can get it in February regardless of weather, just in case you haven't maxed Fox yet. Yeah, I must catch it just to prove whether or not it is a guardian. It was a guardian! Okay, right, interesting. Yeah, it would actually make sense if that was the case. Must be a special February only thing. In that case, I should probably make sure that all of my Genji Beetles catch Guardians, because they're worth 10,000 yen each. Actually, maybe it's just incredibly rare outside of rainy days, because I have retracted my line so many times and I haven't got another one. Welcome back. Okay, now to find out what the, um the bat saucer does. I don't remember it being particularly great for Yukiko. Auto Sukaja, actually not bad. Oh, uh, okay. Oh! Oh, Teddy's favourite movie is this month! I've heard that Teddy has a really good reaction to seeing his favourite movie. And he's obviously picked up his texting habits from Yosuke, that's not good. <laughs> okay then, hmm. Well, firstly though, I want to display um, all of the Persona dolls. Yeah, because I have all six of them now. And yeah, collecting all the Persona dolls gives us a, um, big boost to all stats. Yeah, we still have two scooters left to go. But hey, here's what the scooters look like. I'll leave it as Persona dolls for now. Oh, that just reminds me of how, um, yes, there is an officially licensed Mara figure, by the way. It's thankfully in a, like, a huge box, so, like, you don't actually get to see the figure itself uh, if you're just looking at it on a shelf, but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they actually made that. Uh. Yes, yes, I know, we have advancement exams. So, yeah, we should be finishing the scooters by the 4th of February. That will almost be our last day. Oh, and it's coming up to Valentine's Day, too. Yeah, so on Valentine's Day in Japan, it's always the girls who give chocolate. The day for guys to give back is White Day. Well, I mean, you know, there's Valentine's Day, but again, it's, it's supposed to be a, um day for the girls to take initiative there. I'm pretty sure the snow isn't linked to that. Sadly, you will still always be female students. Yes, there's always next year for you to, you know, get a name by interacting with the main characters.
Oh, wow, okay. I'm pretty sure that you would easily get voted for it, but he's not going to be here next year. <laughs> That's kind of lampshade hanging as to how things are going at this point in the game. It's still, it's still nice, though, to have this downtime. Oh, yeah, I like how that plot um, resolved itself in the end. I just realized you don't get a lot of Japanese media focusing on college life, and that's probably because from what I've heard, most of the time it's just once you're in there, you're basically guaranteed a job, so everyone just relaxes and enjoys life at that point. Oh yeah, well they're not going to be able to relax for a while, sadly. Yeah, they wouldn't want students going up to the mountains while there was a murderer on the loose. It's kind of interesting, like, you don't think you really get to see anyone in town apart from Dojima's reaction to it being a dachi, because I'm sure that's in the news at this point. And this being a small town, he was known to a lot of people here, so I just wonder how they would have reacted to finding that out. Unfortunately, I kind of talked over, um... The girl who I really wish was more important. Um, okay. Well, uh, I don't know. Is she the girl that the guy from upstairs is seeing? I don't think so. Oh, and things are going well for this guy, too. More gossip. Oh, just be careful. We know two people who had that mentality. One recovered, the other went way off the deep end. Hmm, yes, I wonder if that search will take you, I don't know, a few feet ahead of you? <laughs> yeah, so your affection can come back. just need to learn the skills that null all of his weaknesses. Huh. You're not running away from your problems. That's exactly what we've learned for this whole journey. So tomorrow, we're gonna be getting rid of Saturnus anyway, so I might as well extract the Growth 3 skill... Hmm. No, was, was it, I think it was Growth 2 skill card that I already had in the um, skill card registry. But anyway, while we're here, we can talk to the people in Okina one last time, I guess. Well, before that tuna metaphor, I thought you sounded a lot like that legend from that one very weird episode of the Pokemon anime with the, um, the Ghost of Maiden's Peak, I think it was.
Well, yeah, good to know that this town's in safe hands. By the way, if you're currently equipping a Persona that you've already got the skill card from, it will actually stop you from going in, I'm pretty sure. So, no need to worry about wasting visits to the cafe. You're back. Also, now that Dojima is finally back, I can fully explain what the change that happens in his social link, um, if you do it now, is. Uh, it's actually kind of hilarious, so instead of talking about how suspicious it is that you and your friends keep going to Juness, he instead talks about how he suspects that Teddy might have taken some of his socks. I've seen screenshots of that online and it's pretty great. Ah, one more of these I guess. Wow, our window looks really frozen over today. You know, we had a feeling that'd be the case anyway. We're very experienced at exploring realms not of man. But we're getting very close to the point where we will need to go after her, so... Margot will be coming for us very, very soon. This is time for our final preparations. And speaking of which, today is the 3rd of February, and if you fuse any Persona of the Moon Arcana today, they get Unshaken Will, which is an amazing skill. In fact, the skill card for it costs 300,000 yen. So, yeah, um, the weird thing is the combination that I'm using to fuse it requires me to give up Asura, who basically I'm just losing Unshaken Will but gaining Unshaken Will, which is admittedly kind of um, not great, but I should probably save just in case that's an accident. This is a bit of a weird combination, but I think this is what I'll go with. I can buy Asura back if I want to buff Persona with a lot of um, stat boosting skills. You don't actually get a chance to see Sandalphon in 3D in a lot of games, I just realized, because it's kind of rare that Sandalphon appears as an enemy in many games um, that use um, these things as enemies. The skill card for Agni Yastra though is actually really, really good because considering that number of hits is very important when it comes to... I don't think I really need that actually. Um, damage overall, its accuracy is pretty bad. But it is one of the best physical attacks for personas that can't get Hustle Tobi. That is, all of them besides Yoshitsune, so... Huh... I mean, that does kind of get around your weakness. But I sort of also like having Amrita on someone. Unfortunately, no Repel Dark. You probably would have got that if I'd fused you uh, during the experience update, but I wanted this. Hmm. Do I re Well, I mean, I suppose I can have a mostly status immune persona who can cure other people's status. I have Mahama on on Kaguya, so I probably don't really need that anyway. Yeah, Sandalphon's strength grows a bit faster than its magic does, interestingly. And now, do I have enough money to get Asura back? Yeah, that Unshaken Will Fusion Forecast is actually pretty useful because that's a signature move, so it can't be passed down. Just barely not enough to get Asura back. So yeah, that forecast or skill cards are the only way to get Unshaken Wheel on Personas besides Asura. This is technically a waste of time from a gameplay standpoint, but I really wanted to spend time with Risei at least oh, once senpai. before this was all over.
Welcome back. Well then, let's go out and get our last scooter. Passing on that advice, I see. This should be the last one. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wonder how that would work, making a model like that without the instructions. Would be an interesting exercise. Just two more nights to go and then we're done with these. Second last day. I want to just take some time to see how everyone is going in town. Thank you. 
You see, I actually forgot that, for some reason, Nanako's homework is still going on. But thankfully, it does not continue to Sunday. I still have Sunday night free. Uh. Yeah. yeah, I'm still not really sure what that is. Well, that's good. I mean, you shouldn't really be studying on weekends most of the time, but... Again, that's just Japanese schools for you. Yeah, I mean, Nanako already helps out around the house a lot, so she's way ahead of the rest of the class for this. Yeah, she's grown a lot this past year. Thank you. I was just thinking about a lot of like homework for people that that age doesn't really often ask people like why they do things or like how they feel when they do things as much as it probably should, if that makes any sense. And so that's taken up that evening, and now Sunday. This is the last day of free time in Persona 4 Golden. And it's kind of a shame that I couldn't fit in a movie for Teddy. Like, I mean, I really should have done that, but we had to see the cat. And yep, Ski Trip is next week, which will be after exams. Oh boy, yeah, that, that last one was kind of painful. Now, is the Ski Trip actually marked on the calendar? Also, the final Tanaka for the year. It's Sonny Dory Wear! Times one! It's lovely blue is mesmerizing! Homunculus times three! Better safe than sorry! Don't ask why, I have equipment that can protect you from instant death! On top of this, I'll add chess key times five to your homunculus for only 19,800 yen. That's actually not a bad deal. And I'm running really low on chess keys, too. Hmm. Well, anything to protect us from instant death, considering that it's one of the few things Asura doesn't um, nullify. Of course, I don't have enough money to um, get Asura right now. And that'll be it for Tanaka's show for the foreseeable future. Maybe we'll see Tanaka again someday. Maybe not on TV, though. But yes, today we're going to be a little boring and spend it finishing off this model in our room. Don't worry though, we will still have time to admire the results of our hard work. Our final challenge, assembling a model with no instructions. Blue scooter, and that should be the final model. And yes, thankfully no Nanako homework tonight. Which means that we can go upstairs... ...and place all of the model scooters on our shelf. To get a boost to all stats that we don't actually need. Or we can look at these. This one looks pretty cool, I think. Kind of feels like the kind of thing Chie would ride. There's the um, small pink one. And this one, which in fact, I think this actually, I think they, these might actually be the party member scooters now that I think about it. Because this looks like the one that Naoto rides. Not sure how you'd make that basket with plastic um, model kits, but yep, that is all of those. And if we look at our inventory, yep, here they are in our inventory.
so yeah, that's how that whole arc ends. Tonight is one of the last chances you have to use the Shiroku pub at night, so if you want to get anything here, make sure you do so. Afterwards, all of your gems are effectively useless, so um, yeah, you will need you will need to sell those. I guess I could get the bowling pin and maybe the body board. I kind of want to see what this looks like too. Evade physical medium is actually a solid option on Yuki Call, so I might as well grab that as well. And I thought that tonight we could finish things off by doing a nighttime hangout with a party member, and there are a lot of options here. We have Naoto, Yukiko, Chie is also available, but uh, there's one person in particular who's available, and I, yeah, I, I kind of want to spend um, tonight with them. I was kind of hoping Rise would be available, but we have my other favorite party member. I mean, admittedly, Naoto is pretty high up there too. I like all of the P4 party, really. Yeah. Uh. Huh. <laughs> oh, Kanji. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, um, uh, are a bit dense sometimes. <laughs> huh. Naoto is pretty popular across everyone at school, really. Yeah, we like sweet stuff, just as long as Chie and Yukiko aren't making it. I would say Rise too, but um, her cooking is never sweet, so yeah, Whoa. doesn't exactly count. Oh yeah, so by the way, I have a compilation of these recorded from a New Game Plus file that I will be showing after I finish the game. I want you to have this, senpai. Um, okay, why were you carrying a medical kit uh, just randomly around? If you were carrying it just in case of emergencies, you should probably keep that. Senpai. But it's nice to spend evenings with friends. to make you wait. Let's go! Let's come here again, Sensei. <laughs> 